I see someone already called for you. I don't know, but I hear loud screams and a woman crying. From some motel room, I think. I thought it might be a typical husband-wife brawl. You know, the food wasn't to his liking or something. But then I remember that two women had been kidnapped in the area. I'm glad someone called you. You better check it out. I don't know for sure, but I think it's more like the other end of the building. Oh, good evening. Are you all right? No, not particularly. I actually just got here, so... No, nothing really. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah? What's going on? Why are you questioning my guests? Great, another price. You're gonna bring me bad luck too? Yeah, there was this guy. Give me a sec. Jack Price. I took pity on him because he was broke. Let him spend the night here on the couch. For free. But the bastard, before he ran off first thing in the morning, lifted my phone and all the cash I kept here. Lesson for me, huh? You know? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I can't help you. Don't ask any of the other guests either, because I'm sure none of them saw. Um, you know this is a motel, right? A cheap motel. It's where people come to do all kinds of weird shit and yell a little bit. I've learned to stay out of it. Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I know who that is. He got drunk, made a ruckus in the pub next door, and then came to me and threatened to get my daughter if I talked to the police. He's a fucking freak! I didn't care that much for his talk, but... You know, he made my blood boil. Room one on the first floor. He sits there all day. I don't think he goes outside. I saw that he came in with some woman. Either that's his wife or... Well, you understand. Besides the room he's in, he's paid for another one. He gave a big bonus, so... I didn't go into why he needed two rooms. Confirm it. I have his personal information. I took it off his ID. I don't think so. I'm just waiting for him to check out. These guys are more trouble than good. I'm not gonna ask for a warrant, because he's obviously got a lot on his plate. Get him out of here. The code's 14452. Yes?
let's talk. All right, I thought it over. Is it over? Is it over? Have you taken care of him? Thomas kidnapped that therapist of his. He said he was keeping her somewhere close. He's been looking into her, but I don't know if she's at the motel or somewhere else. You have to find her. I know my rights. I won't say any. I'm not saying another word without a lawyer. Fuck you. Is it? Is something wrong? I can't believe it. It's the guy from room one, isn't it? I ran into him from time to time because he was out smoking. He was hanging around the bar a little bit too. And I once heard him discussing his truck with another hotel guest. That man had already checked out, but I remember that was the case. She must be around here somewhere. I saw her once. Smaller, white, I think. Then she did in fact disappear, but if the man's still here, then so is his truck. I have no idea. Maybe the other guests at the motel know something. What's the situation? Can you say anything more? No, I'm... I'm sorry. What's that noise up there? Holy shit, so he's a complete nutcase! Check out room number three downstairs, that's the other rooms Jones rented. Here's the key. Yeah. Police? What's the matter? Yeah, I saw one. 
I think the guy from room 1 parked it behind that diner next to the motel. I'm so afraid that crazy man would leave me here. I only have a few bruises, but it's it's nothing serious. And he, Thomas, how is he? And his wife, is she all right? Oh, wonderful. Did you find the other? You did a great job. Thank you. 